Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Sports. I'm Ramiko Knowles. Topping sports this evening, the Marco City Basketball Tournament wrapping up week one with games played at the Richard Gator Park in Pinez Loop. Let's head down to the courts. Teams and players from various basketball camps turned out in big numbers. The Member of Parliament for the area, the Honorable Michael Pintard, on hand expressing his thanks to organizers and all those taking part in this year's tournament. He says that it's the first of many to come. We are committed to organizing a series of tournaments, not just in basketball, softball, and other sports. We are hoping to enter the Legacy Baseball League next year. We also would like to have an adult and young people softball team as well for the next coming season. For those of you that are interested in John Canoe, we are committed at the constituency office to doing at least two things. One, sponsoring a John Canoe group as well as helping to build a facility that those John Canoes can generate revenue for the group, for the community, and for themselves. The Member of Parliament also says that at least 100 persons have been employed from the area and that he is committed to increasing that number next year. We have had no less than 15 young people from Marco City who would have received varying levels of grant, most of them five to $10,000 to help them get their businesses started through the Marco City program and through the program with the Office of the Prime Minister and the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture. We are committed to empowering you. And so we want to let you know that we are concerned about the challenges you face. We intend to work with you on an ongoing basis to help improve your life. It continues this coming Saturday, August 11th at the Moon McPhee Park. Championship play continued as well in the West Grand Bahama Summer League. In the end of 13 play, GB Dental crowned champion, sweeping Candy's Wolverine 26-11, sweeping the series 2-0. Jonathan Hepburn got 10 points and named MVP. In the end of 15 play, GB Power tied the series 1-all, defeating the Busy Bubble Extractors 31-22. Denario Rigby got 16 points. In the under 17 division, Express Stackers even their series 1-1, defeating Zorba's Destroyers 41-31. Ruben Samuel with 10 points. In the open play division, a third undecided game will be played as the PNF Car Rental tied their series 1-1 over Russell Drillers 35-34. Delano Dean had 17 points for the win. All do or die games will be played tomorrow with the awards presentation to follow. The Deputy Prime Minister is expected to be in attendance at the park in Pinedale, 8 Mile Rock. The sport of baseball has given many Bahamians opportunities to study abroad and play professionally. In this report, we hear from a coach, a father, and consultant on the importance of education. Let's go to Jay Philippe. Jumping from high school to the pros has been something that baseball players from the Bahamas are looking forward to. President of Premier Plus Consultant Sports Management talked about the decision that families of top prospects are faced with as it relates to baseball players pursuing their professional careers. So everybody has to evaluate those opportunities as they come by. Um, in terms of professional opportunity, all the kids here play baseball for that dream. Um, and so even if they're offered $20,000, $40,000 versus someone who's offered a million dollars, would they, re they, would they uh, accept it or would they refuse it? Knowles also elaborated on the recent success of baseball players, especially from Grand Bahama, who were fortunate to sign pro deals the past few years. He also talked about the reality of not becoming a pro baseball player and the awareness that coaches should share with their players. The reality of it, this is not the Dominican Republic where we have four million people in one slot. Um, not everybody's going to sign. And even if a lot of people sign, the percentages are very low so we in the Bahamas have to really as family as coaches as support network we have to really be involved with our students evaluate the opportunity select university if that's what you want but prepare for everything that's what high school is about prepare for everything and then determine what you want to do moving forward but definitely your academic your foundation should be based on your academics and what you want to do from now the Lord call you home. Important for Zenith Total Sports. I'm Jay Philippe. And that's going to do it for sports. I'm Romico Knowles. Until next time, make it a great one.